Hey guys, Robin Nolan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn the six, my six secrets to playing La Pomp Gypsy Rhythm Swing, okay? And uh, playing La Pomp in the Gypsy Jazz style is what it's all about, the most important thing that you can do to learn this music. And in my way of teaching Gypsy Jazz, I've got this thing called the five pillars, my five pillars of learning Gypsy Jazz guitar. And guess what pillar number one is? It's all about rhythm. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you, we haven't got that much time right, right now, but I'm gonna teach you uh, six secrets, which I think are really important, and things to get you to actually be able to get this rhythm right, because it's not that easy. And um, I remember when I st started playing this music, it sounds easy, but it's like, there's something that's really tricky about it as well, and it's hard to kind of quantize. So I wanna kind of get to the basics and teach you how to do it in this video. Um, if you don't know me yet, my name's Robin Nolan, and it's my mission, I'm a gypsy jazz guitarist, and it's my mission to take the headache out of playing gypsy jazz, take away all the boring theory and endless scales and arpeggios, and teach you stuff which works, and teach you in a fun way, because this music is a lot of fun, and it's my mission to help you have fun playing this music, okay? So, I'm going to teach you the six tips coming up right now. Before we get started, also type in where are you watching this video from, okay? Because I think that's an amazing thing. You know, I'm going live here on Facebook and the, it's just really cool that there's people all around the world who love Jagger Rhino and Gypsy Jazz and uh, it's, it's so cool to know where everyone's watching from. I'm currently in Santa Monica, uh, in LA in the States, in Santa Monica, and I'd love to know where you're watching from. So just type that in and I'll, I'll kick off with the lessons. Also, click the heart button, okay? Send some love. I'm in a room here on my own, so send the love. If you love Django Reinhardt, love Gypsy Jazz, click that love heart button. And if that feels weird, guys, click the wow button. Woo! So, tip number one. This is really important. Um, this is warming up, okay? So it's all about this floating wrist, the right hand, and you've got to have that, um, you've got to have that floating wrist if you're going to swing, if you're going to play rhythm then uh, tip number one is a warm-up exercise, okay? So to get this floating wrist, I want you to play these two chords. This one, okay? That's a diminished shape on uh, one sec. That's a diminished shape on the second fret, okay? See that chord? So that's second fret on a D string, third fret on a G string, second fret on a B string, and third fret on the top E string. That's a diminished chord. Don't, don't worry about what it's called for now. Take that chord, okay? And you probably know that chord already, so no big deal. The second chord, learn this chord. Okay? This chord. So that's, that's an A, that's open A. Third fret on a D string. Second fret on a G string. Open B, open E, okay? So you're actually only fretting two notes there, then playing the open A, the open A, third fret D string, second fret G string, open string on the B, and open string on D. So that's two chords, all right? So get those under your fingers first. Okay, and if you want to know the theory, it's not like I don't know theory, but if you want to know the theory, that's basically kind of going from A7 to D minor, okay? which will make sense in a minute if you stick around. If you're just joining people, type in where you're watching from. I can see loads of people are joining already. This is really fun. I'm in Santa Monica, I'm Robin Nolan. I'm teaching you pillar, or a little taste of pillar number one in my five pillars of learning gypsy jazz guitar, okay? And the first tip, the first secret is warming up because it's hard to play when you just pick up the guitar. It's hard to play rhythm without being warmed up. We wanna warm up this right hand. Take the first chord. And take the second chord. And then what I do, I basically want to get that tremolando kind of go. Okay, so that's what I personally do. Now I'm going to break it down, make it easier. The first chord, do this kind of rhythm. Go, go. right hand you're just gonna go thanks for the love yeah 
down, up, down, up, okay? You've got to move your body, so you're going to be going one, two, three, four. <laughs> This is gonna warm up. This is tip number one, guys. The secret number one, warming up the right hand. Take the chord and then alternate. Okay? Okay, so just do that. Take that A diminished chord or that diminished chord, which is basically A7, then D minor. And then this gets the wrist going. And ultimately we want to try and do the like For me, it kind of gets the cobwebs out of my, you know, you just pick up the guitar and you're a bit cold or your wrist is a bit stiff and getting that tremolando going really warms up your wrist. So then when you start to play La Pompe and the swing, then it feels a bit easier already, okay? So, but an easy way to do that is just to go. Secret number one, warm up, and this is a really, really easy way to do it. If you just take two minutes to do that, if you do that for two minutes before you play La Pompe, then when you start to play swing and the rhythm, it's gonna you're gonna be a bit loosened up, and that's really important, okay? That's secret number one. Everybody, welcome. Um, welcome Dario, I can see you there, David, people from all over the world watching this. I'm in Santa Monica in the States and guys, don't feel weird about it. Send the love. If you love Gypsy Jazz, if you love guitar, click that love button and type in where you're watching from. I'm teaching pillar one from my five pillars of learning Gypsy Jazz guitar, okay? And each of these pillars is a really important part of getting the whole picture together of this beautiful music. And by the way, the exciting news also is that you'll see a link in the description to this video which says Gypsy Jazz World Passport. Gypsy Jazz World Passport. This is really exciting. Click that link because we've just announced the Amsterdam retreat which is taking place next January, okay? Uh, it's gonna be four days and four nights of ridiculous awesomeness Gypsy Jazz, uh, which I'll be telling you about a bit later. Um, but that's what you got to what that's what you got to click that link okay there's all the info there if you really want to make some progress with your gypsy jazz playing in a fun way and jam with friends and hang out in one of the coolest cities in the world then that's going to be your ticket okay tip number two number one was warming up number two is learn this inversion okay you might not know it if you know it then just bear with me but this inversion okay it's like a diminished shape, but it's starting on the A string. So it's fourth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, and fifth fret on the B string. And you've got these four notes. Okay? All right? This will come in really handy because the great thing about this voicing is that you can use it for lots of different types of chords. Okay? And you just keep the same shape. So, remember we went from A7 to D minor before by going like this. All right. Well, the same thing can happen when you play this chord on a fourth fret, that chord we just learned. And then if you slide that, thanks for the love guys, click that love heart, type in where you're watching. People are watching from all around the world, it's so exciting. There's the A7 on the fourth fret. Two frets down, bingo, you got D minor, okay? That's basically D minor, the same shape on the second fret. So I remember when I first learned this years ago, it was like, that is really handy. You can keep the same chord shape. Instead of going A7, instead of doing that, you can actually just go A7, D minor, okay? Same shape. So that's the shape that I want you to learn, okay? It's the multi-use chord. That's an A7. You can navigate to that. You know A7 on the fifth fret. Welcome everybody. You can see everyone here. Welcome Chris. Welcome Jose Fernando. Type in where you're watching from. There's A7, okay? 
Then you've got the third of the A, so that's the A7. You've got the third in the bass, all right? And then when you slide it down two frets, you've got the root with the pinky there, with the little finger. That's the D, okay? Same chord, except the root is in the D, is in the pinky, all right? Remember, I don't get into big theory stuff because it's boring. And we just want to know, look, do you think Jagger Reinhardt knew about theory? He couldn't even read and write. So just remember that. Use your ears, use your senses, use your eyes. It's going to make learning a lot more fun. And that's how we learned at the Amsterdam uh, Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat, by the way. There's a link in the uh, description of this video. Go and check it out. It's really exciting. A7. D minor. Okay, that's shape. This is secret number two, all right, guys? This is really cool. There's A7, there's D minor. And then you want to practice going between them. So A7, D minor, A7, D minor. That's great. Guys, thanks for all the comments. I'm going to be answering questions at the end of the video. So get ready to ask anything you like about this lesson about rhythm or about the Amsterdam Breakthrough Retreat. But thanks, guys. It's great to see so many of you here online, live. I'm in Santa Monica. My name's Rob Nolan, and I'm teaching you six secrets to nailing that gypsy jazz rhythm la pomp, okay? The swing rhythm. And by the way, that la pomp is basically what you want to be sounding like. It's something like this. Okay? That's why we love this music. That's why we tap our foot. That's, that's why everybody loves this music. It's, it's the drums of this music. It's just got that real gnarly beat, which we just <laughs> can't put into words. So I'm teaching you how to do it. And uh, so there's the multi-use chord, okay? That's secret number two. Secret number three, there's the pick, all right? Secret number three is drop the pick. I've dropped the pick, no pick. Try this, because I know a lot of guys and girls really struggle with getting the rhythm right in this music. And I think sometimes the pick can get in the way. It can kind of make noises, it can get, you really haven't got control of it, then it kind of makes it difficult. So let's strip it right down without the pick. Use these, this is how I play without the pick. And listen, it sounds cool, all right? So you can just go. Okay. Just those, those two chords. And what I'm doing is using those three fingers, okay? My thumb is kind of imagining that I'm holding the pick and then those three fingers, those three fingers are just kind of brushing the guitar there. Uh, let me see. Okay, just go like that. Okay, and it gives a soft, quiet sound, but it can swing, all right? You don't have to play loud. That, that really is a secret as well. Don't think when you play this music, you have to go. Forget that, that's not nice, it doesn't feel good, all right? So just keep it, this is why secret number three, playing with your fingers can really make it sound cool. Okay, those three fingers, pinky, that one, that one, that's what brushes the strings. Okay. Okay, and then also what we're gonna do for now is just keep every beat short and dry, okay? So no extended, no. We're just going to keep every beat even and short and crisp, okay? So it's going to go. Okay? Keep everything smooth. And when you watch the best guys play the rhythm, check out Hanna Wittestein. He plays with Borelli, who's the boss, the best guy in the world. What does his rhythm player do? Nothing. He doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't mean he doesn't do anything, but he does, hardly does anything. He just goes. And he lets Borelli, or lets the lead player, do all the magic, okay? But your job of playing rhythm is the most important because it's what defines this music, Gypsy Jazz, okay? So, just strip it down, forget all the stuff, drop the pick, play with your fingers, listen how it can sound. It can just sound like this, like... Okay? So if you're getting, if you're getting confused about playing rhythm and you know, the, the pick is getting in your way or holding the pick, forget about the pick, throw it away. 
Just use these three fingers and try it, just strip it down to really bare essentials, okay? And also, just realize that playing rhythm quietly, I love it, I love it when the rhythm player plays quietly, all right? The last thing I want is a guy going. That's so ugly and it just does not swing and that we want to swing in this music. So drop the pick, okay, and just go like this. Light, light, even beats, nice and quiet with your fingers, okay? Once that feels comfy, then we're ready for secret number four, all right? And then we pick up the pick. And by the way, whatever pick, it doesn't matter. This is the pick I use. Um, that pick, purple one, kind of purple pink. And, um, and then we're gonna use the same rhythm, but with the purple pick, okay? And we're gonna try and make it light. We're gonna play it quiet and just dry and even each beat. So. Welcome, Jeff. And then do the same. Welcome, Brian. People watching from all around the world, type in where you're watching from. This is so awesome. Um, I'm teaching you six secrets, six secrets of mine to play Gypsy Jazz Lap on Rhythm. And I think this can really help you, all right? This is gonna kind of strip it down to the basics. I'm not gonna bore you with theory. I'm gonna show you some actionable tips to actually get you swinging. And, uh, and also, you can see there's a link in the description of this video that says Gypsy Jazz World Passport. Sounds pretty sexy. Do you want a Gypsy Jazz World Passport? Click that link. Um, we're really excited. We just announced the Amsterdam Breakthrough Retreat, the Amsterdam Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat. And thanks for the anger sign. Thanks, um, Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat. And it's happening in Amsterdam next January, okay? January 24 to 28, where I'm going to be teaching the five pillars of learning Gypsy Jazz guitar. Apart from that, you're gonna be jamming with friends from all around the world. You're gonna be hanging out with the Rosenberg Trio, with Wawa Adler, a part of the Django Amsterdam Festival. It's gonna be an experience of a lifetime. Um, this is the third annual one we've done, and uh, seats are limited as well, okay? So click that link, and you're gonna find out all about it. Okay, we got up to secret number four. Right, let's recap. Number one, warm up. Remember the warm up? <laughs> Okay, get the wrist warmed up. Number two, learn that voicing, remember A7. That's A7 on the fourth fret, and it's really cool. Slide it down two frets, and you've got D minor, okay? A7 to D minor. Tip number, what was it, number four, drop the pick, forget about the pick, let it go, use your fingers. You're not doing anything. What the hell are you doing? You're just going da 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 da, keeping it dry and crisp. And lead guys like that. I like that when when rhythm players do that. They're hardly doing anything, but it swings like crazy. Okay, now you're ready to pick up the pick. This is uh, tip number four. Add the pick. Do the same thing. All right. Not much to it. basically kind of making each beat roughly the same. You maybe have a slight accent on two and four, but not like, not like this. That doesn't make me feel good. It makes, it makes me want to run away, okay? So just keep it even and light. Not hardly doing anything, okay? Don't tense your body up. Don't put loads of muscle into it. It's not about muscle, it's not about you know that, right? It's about swinging, it's about being light, okay? So, that's tip number four. Tip number five, it's a slight variation on the swing, okay? This is, tip, this is a secret number five, guys, of pillar number one of learning gypsy jazz guitar. Tip number five is add that upstroke. Um, and then it sounds like this. <laughs> So what's happening here is, I'll just get close to the video, so it's gonna go. Okay, so instead of, instead of just going down, we're gonna go. It's just like the ride symbol on the drum kit. And that's what's gonna get you the real swing. 
okay? That's a stylistic thing. You don't have to do thing, play it like that. I personally play like that, so I would actually just go. Okay, so that's just adding the upstroke to it. And then um, uh, that's what happens. It starts to swing even more. Okay, tip number six. This is a really cool effect called the Django Shuffle. And this is when, you know, it's... Being a rhythm guitarist, you, you really control and hold dynamics and the whole thing in the music. So there's so many things you can do. One of them is when the lead guy starts going apeshit, starts going crazy, and you want to kind of add some kind of intensity to the music, then you do this rhythm. Okay, so it's, that's just going like this. It's just like a shuffle rhythm. And it sounds great. Django did this. If you listen to Django's rhythm playing, he was the best rhythm player. He would do stuff like... And that's a really great, great way to add intensity and dynamics to the music, okay? Um, don't have so much time here on uh, Facebook Live, but I've taught you six tips so far, six secrets on how to crack it, how to finally get that gypsy swing, la pomp swing under your belt so you can actually nail it at a jam and feel confident and not struggle with your pick or, you know, remember just to keep it simple. Review these six secrets, these six tips, and I think you can start to actually get it. Just to give you a bit of context, um, this, is, this is the kind of material I teach in pillar number one, okay? I've got five pillars of learning gypsy jazz guitar and that's what I teach at the Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreats. And pillar number one, which is workshop number one, we dive into rhythm. And this is just a little taster of the kind of thing that you can experience at the Amsterdam Breakthrough Retreat. And there's a, thanks for the love guys. Keep the love coming. Um, there's a link in this uh, description which says Gypsy Jazz World Passport. Click that, all the info's there. It's gonna be four days and four nights of Gypsy Jazz Heaven on Earth. This is my hometown, Amsterdam, and you're gonna be treated. You're gonna be royally taken care of. Lunches, dinners, jam sessions, workshops, breakthroughs, concerts, front row VIP tickets to the Rosenberg Trio, to my trio with Wawa Adler, with some of the best gypsy players in the world, all hanging out in one of the most hippest, beautiful European capital cities of the world, Amsterdam. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's January 24 to 28. And if you're looking for inspirational breakthroughs, if you want to learn Gypsy Jazz the fun way, without all the stress, headache of theory and you know attitude about you have to do it like that, it's like, look, we want to have fun with this music, okay? We, maybe we haven't got 10 hours in a day to practice it. We actually want to have fun. So that's what the Breakthrough Retreat is all about, okay? So I want you to click that link. I want you to send some love and then click that link and go and check it all out, okay? There's limited places. So, uh, and also there's a crazy bonus package. Um, you'll see all the info there, but you know, this is, this is gonna be a trip of a lifetime and it will get you up and running with Gypsy Jazz. Massive inspiration. So, um, guys and girls, I'm gonna jump off now. This has been Robin Nolan. And remember, it's my mission to take the headache out of Gypsy Jazz, to teach it the fun way, and to start helping guys and girls actually to enjoy this music, okay? In whatever context. And, uh, it's, it's a beautiful music and I, I, love the, I love doing this, okay? So I look forward to uh, you start to swing, use those secrets I've just, I've just taught in this video, and then click the link, Gypsy Jazz World Passport. Who doesn't want a Gypsy Jazz World Passport? Click that link and read all about Amsterdam. And if you think it's for you, then go for it. And I really look forward to seeing you in Amsterdam. Um, so that's pillar number one. I'm gonna be back tomorrow with pillar number two, which is all about soloing, all right? So this is the whole world of soloing. And just like the rhythm world, I've got some simple, actionable tips to help you solo over any tune in Gypsy Jazz. Guys, thanks for watching. You've been a beautiful audience and um, lots, of, lots of love from Jangus. This is my Jangus guitar. And me and Santa Monica, Rob Nolan, I'll see you really soon, okay? Click that link, stay inspired, like always. Lots of love.